Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cara Nui and this is going to be a vlog. But before it starts, I just wanted to quickly say that the beginning is in German. I don't really know why, <laughs> but I just started filming it in German. So I added English subtitles, but it continues in English at some point. So I just wanted to mention that so you're not confused. <laughs> Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Februar Vlog. Ich hoffe, es geht euch allen gut. Wie ihr merkt, sind wir draußen und zwar im Mauerpark. Ich dachte, es wäre vielleicht ganz cool, euch auch mal mit rauszunehmen, weil ich ja immer so davon erzähle, dass ich halt in Berlin lebe und ihr das irgendwie mitkriegt, aber ihr nicht so richtig mitbekommt, wie es überhaupt in Berlin wirklich ist, also wie es draußen ist und nicht nur in der Wohnung, weil die könnte ja theoretisch überall sein. Wir haben auch ehrlich gesagt heute noch Januar, aber ich fahre am 1. Februar zu meiner Familie und dann bin ich da wieder erst mal ein, zwei Wochen und es gibt nicht wirklich Berlin-Content. Ich freue mich riesig über den Schnee. Es ist einfach traumhaft, auch wenn es natürlich jetzt schon platt getroppelt ist, aber es ist trotzdem schön. Da hinten fahren die Leute auch Schlitten, aber es ist halt kaum noch Schnee da. Ich zeige euch das mal. Da fahren sie runter. Schaut mal, hier hat jemand einen Schneemann gebaut. Der ist voller Wiese, aber es ist trotzdem ein Schneemann. Da hinten, da können wir auch mal hingehen, ist im Sommer immer so Karaoke. Ich habe mit Lukas in der Podcast-Folge vom 31. Januar, könnt ihr gerne reinhören, bei mir sein als Schein, auch darüber geredet, wie man so gesund und glücklich durch den Winter kommt. Und ich glaube, wenn man halt sowas wie den Schnee nicht als was Nerviges betrachtet, sondern als was, mit dem man total viel Spaß haben kann und was wunderschön aussieht, was mir nicht schwerfällt, ich, ich liebe Schnee, dann hilft es dem Glück auf die Sprünge. So, hier ist das Amphitheater. Okay, lasst uns mal nach oben gehen, dass ihr da auch mal den Ausblick bekommt. Und hier kann man sich dann im Sommer hinsetzen. Und da unten singen die Leute dann manchmal Karaoke. <lacht> man kann den Ausblick genießen. Und ich finde es hier sehr schön. Wie ihr vielleicht im Hintergrund hört, ist hier auch immer Musik eigentlich. Meistens auch ganz coole. Im Sommer viele StraßenmusikerInnen. Momentan eher Leute mit Boxen und irgendwie so Abbeat. <lacht> Nicht so meins, aber okay. Immer Unterhaltung, immer gute Stimmung. Hier ist aber auch diese Stelle, wo man häufiger mal angesprochen wird. Was ich im letzten Vlog angesprochen hatte, der Feminismus Real Talk. Da hinten war das, wo ich angesprochen wurde. Und hier ist die Mauer, die immer wieder sehr, sehr cool besprayt wird. Ja, auch noch mal ein Ausblick. Wir sind jetzt oben am Schlittenhang. <lacht> oh, ich hätte auch gerne Schlitten jetzt. Ich habe übrigens noch mal drüber nachgedacht, über das hier angesprochen werden und so. Und bin im Nachhinein darauf gekommen, dass das wahrscheinlich Dealer waren, die mich angesprochen haben. Hätte ich auch früher darauf kommen können. Ich bin halt einfach da gar nicht drin in der Szene. <lacht> und äh, bin dann deshalb nicht so drauf gekommen. Klar, also im Görlitzer Park zum Beispiel hat man das natürlich viel und das war mir auch so bewusst. Aber hier im Mauerpark eigentlich schon auch. Also ich habe auch schon viele Geschichten gehört. Aber irgendwie hatte ich das nicht mehr so auf dem Schirm, weil ich es noch nie direkt gesehen habe. Ich glaube, das Ansprechen zielt schon oft auch darauf ab, dass die dir halt einfach was verkaufen möchten. Noch ein kleiner Schneemann. Hm. Ich finde es so süß, dass hier überall Schneemänner stehen. Oder Schneefrauen. Schneepersonen. Hm. Ich zeige euch noch mal ein bisschen die Mauer. Die Bank ist auch komplett voll gesprayt. Aber ich liebe es, dass das hier so bunt alles ist. Und da hinten kommen gleich auch noch so Porträts. There we go. Hier hinten an der Ecke sind meistens die coolsten Bilder. Wobei, der Künstler, den ich am liebsten hier mag, habe ich euch auf Instagram auch schon mal empfohlen. Der sprayt vor allem im Sommer, habe ich das Gefühl. Und übrigens, ich weiß nicht, ihr seht es jetzt ja ein bisschen im Hintergrund, es sind schon 
sehr, sehr viele Menschen gerade im Mauerpark unterwegs. Also ich, im Vergleich zum Sommer ist es nichts. Da ist es hier wirklich rappelvoll. Aber für den Winter ist es schon besonders. Und wir haben natürlich jetzt auch Samstag. Was variiert hier echt von Tag zu Tag so krass. Manchmal ist hier niemand. Also du triffst dann vielleicht so eine Person. Und an anderen Tagen kommt man hier kaum durch, ohne irgendjemanden zu sehen. Es gibt hier einen Park für Hunde, also so eine Hundewiese, wo die frei laufen können da im Hintergrund. Und unten gibt es auch mehrere Spielplätze. Und lustigerweise sieht man da auch häufiger mal bekanntere SchauspielerInnen mit ihren Kindern auf den Spielplätzen. Ich glaube, Berlin lebt eben auch davon, dass, dass die Leute hier nicht interessiert. Also die treffen dann vielleicht irgendwelche bekannten Persönlichkeiten. Und selbst wenn sie ein Fan sind, die meisten Leute gehen einfach vorbei und lassen die Leute ihr Leben leben. Und das finde ich das Entspannte hier dran. Bei meiner alten Arbeit in der PR-Agentur zum Beispiel hat in dem gleichen Gebäude Thomas Gottschalk gewohnt. Aber das war halt auch irgendwie einfach nicht so von Bedeutung. Ist auch was, woran ich mich immer noch gewöhnen muss, dass es hier so normal ist. Oh. Das ist auch normal. Ständig Polizei, Krankenwagen, Feuerwehr. Ja. Wir stehen jetzt am anderen Ende vom Mauerpark. Und da drüben ist schon Prenzlauer Berg. Auch sehr zu empfehlen. Was man jetzt nicht so gut sehen kann, weil einfach alles zugeschneit ist, ist, dass überall so Reste auch sind. Aus der Geschichte Berlins, sage ich mal. Und natürlich sieht man auch, wo die Mauer lang ging. Aber das ist, glaube ich, gerade auch zugeschneit. Ich gucke gleich mal, ob man davon was sieht. Und da ist eine super Freizeitbeschäftigung für den Sommer. Da sind nämlich dann ganz viele so Essenssachen. Da hinten ist schön Wetter. Da kann man <lacht> bei schönem Wetter sich Getränke holen. Das meistverkaufte Getränk, denke ich mal, ist da Mate. Und ja, dann kann man sich da hinsetzen. Mein Lieblingsstand ist da dünnes Brot. Die haben aber momentan auch nicht auf zu kalt. Und wenn wir jetzt nicht da reingehen, wo das im Sommer ist mit schönem Wetter und so, sondern hier an der Straße weiter entlang, dann ist hier ein richtig guter Falafelladen und da drüben ein Fotoautomat. Und jetzt stehe ich gerade tatsächlich doch an der Berliner Mauer, die hier gekennzeichnet ist und das zeige ich euch jetzt mal. Ich fand es ein bisschen voll mit Schneematsch ist, aber egal. There it is! Berliner Mauer 1961 bis 1989. Der Falafelladen heißt übrigens Prinzen Falafel und ich glaube, ich werde mir da jetzt auch eine Falafeltasche holen. Ich habe nämlich echt Hunger. <lacht> Hello, I already announced it, but I am at my family's home now, so I'm not in Berlin, but I still want to show you a little bit about my daily life, of my daily life. I've got lots of uni stuff to do and right now I'm going to do a light makeup because I need to do some filming for uni. I bought this new concealer and I quite like it. What I like is that you can layer it so you can decide about the amount of coverage you want. And I find that the coverage is better when I use my finger to blend it in compared to a sponge. The only few other things I do are My eyebrows, eyebrows, oh my god, my accent is very German today. <sighs> But whenever I wear my curtain bangs, I don't really bother to do much with my eyebrows because you can't really see them anyway. <laughs> Makeup is such a normal thing for many people and it leads to so many girls, especially girls, girls, <laughs> feeling uncomfortable in their own skin because They feel like they're not pretty enough because they only see people wearing makeup all the time and no normal faces anymore. I really think there should be more of an acceptance for not wearing makeup <laughs> and still being seen as a successful woman, for example, or a pretty woman. I often think I don't really need people to find me pretty or anything. I only need myself to find me pretty <laughs> and I think I'm pretty inside out and the inside is even more important anyway. But the thing is, especially when it comes to work opportunities, it's easier if you're pretty, talking about pretty privilege and all that kind of stuff. And if you dress up a little bit, put makeup on and people just like to look at you, they are more likely to give you a job, which is really sad, but it's also just facts. Back to the makeup, because I'm filming, I will put some transparent powder on areas that might be very shiny, like my forehead. 
I always try to get a good mix with my videos. Half the time you will see me, or actually more than half the time, you will see me without makeup to get the full reality experience. <laughs> and sometimes you will see me with makeup because that's both me. Just different times, different moods. I'm actually not using bronzer a lot at the moment. I'm not doing much contouring, partly because my pimples are mostly here and whenever I'm contouring I'm just like highlighting the pimples. Plus for a light makeup I enjoy to just have some red cheeks. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing now. I've had this blush for ages. It's broken and everything but I like the color so I'm still using it. It's the Flamingo one. I don't know whether they sell that anywhere else than Germany but whatever you can use. Any blush you like. There are so many different shades. Apple cheek vibe and then I make this with my brush and put something over my nose because I like that too. Okay, right now I'm thinking about doing my eyebrows because you can see more of them than I expected. <laughs> I love brow pencils because you can add hair wherever you want it. In my opinion, beauty is more defined through oneself like the way you think you look good, people will also feel like you look good because you will just send that vibe. And those days are not necessarily the days I wear makeup. They might be the days you can see all my pimples, but I'm just sending, I don't know, sunny vibes or whatever. And people will enjoy that and consider me beautiful because of that. And that's what I like most when compliments are more about your vibe and your personality rather than your actual looks because your looks are just something that's given to you and your personality is something you can work on and something that's way more you than your looks in my opinion you can obviously have a different opinion I'm also a person that really enjoys giving compliments to other people I was a bit shy about that at first but when you notice how people react when you give them a genuine compliment, it's the best feeling ever. So whenever you notice something about another person, just say it. A positive thing, obviously. <laughs> Not a negative thing. Let's keep the negative thoughts about other people to ourselves. <laughs> Except for like political or social issues or whatever. Of course, we need to speak about those, but we don't really need to negatively comment on other people's looks, for example. I brush through my eyebrows a lot because I like it to look as natural as possible. And then finishing touches. You always make the funniest faces while doing your eyelashes. I love how every person has a different mascara face. <laughs> it looks so funny. I have two different mascaras, but for the natural look I will also go for the more natural mascara, which is not waterproof or anything. I didn't even buy this one myself. My flatmate gave it to me because she didn't want to use it, so I'm using it for a natural look. I think that's already it for today's look. Very, very simple. Oh, forgot my lips. I have this red balm here. <laughs> I also like the ponytails. I think I'll keep that. Oh, and I need to show you my earrings. Wait a sec. This is Onyx on gold, but I think it's silver and only gold plated because pure gold is way too expensive. <laughs> and this is my absolute favorite. It looks like a little planet. And then here I have an ear cuff, so this is not pierced. With little stars all around it and in the middle stars get a little bigger. So, so... I saw those online and they were actually advertised as the perfect touch-up for an all-black outfit. So, <laughs> tried that out right away. <laughs> the only things I'm really going to do today are uni stuff and later I'm meeting a friend for a coffee. Because I already know I will be absolutely tired. I only have maybe 50 more minutes. And then I need to leave. So let's see what I can get done in those 15 minutes. Most of the time I'm working best when I know I don't have much time left, which is maybe not the best or healthiest way to work, but works for me. 
and as long as it doesn't stress me too much it's fine i was also wondering whether you're interested in a study with me video i will film myself and study for maybe 25 minutes with the pomodoro technique but then i'll have five or ten minute breaks and you will also have that break then we study together again for 25 minutes it will continue for maybe 1.5 hours or something i don't know let me know whether you're interested in that i saw a few of those videos online and i thought it might motivate me <laughs> to actually get more things done and maybe you will enjoy that too so let me know <laughs> let's get some stuff done people so i just shortened a little pitch video it's an elevator pitch about my persona <laughs> uh, so about karanui basically it's not a pitch i would necessarily use somewhere so this pitch is really just for uni and it's only supposed to be like 30 seconds long and mine was about a minute so i had to shorten it and i did that and now i'm going to leave get a coffee and then i'll keep working Quick thing about the coffee culture here in Germany, you can definitely bring your own cup and they will just fill it with coffee. Some stores will even give you a discount if you bring your own cup. So definitely check that because saving money is always good and reusable cups are great for the environment. So I would usually do that but because we are in the middle of a pandemic, most uh, coffee shops are not doing that at the moment. They're trying to keep the human contact to a minimum, so you will not be able to bring your own stuff. But if you come to Germany when the pandemic is over, definitely consider buying a reusable cup. And obviously that's not only for coffee, but for all kind of drinks. Coffee and ice cream! I just noticed that this cup is 100% plant-based and oil-free, and therefore climate-neutral. Yay. Hi, it's Monday, so the start of a new fresh week. I have to be honest, my start wasn't so fresh and awake as I would have wanted it to be, but that's all right. Right now I'm feeling way better and it's snowing so much outside, which makes me really happy. And yesterday I spent my time outside and we took the sledge and... We used it a lot, and I will show you a video of that right now. <laughs> that was the video, I hope you enjoyed that. I already had online class, it was okay. I had a presentation, and I think I did well, which is good. So th that's behind me now and now the preparation for the finals are starting and I will have another online class this evening and I need to prepare something for that so that's basically going to be my day plus a podcast meeting with Lucas which I'm excited about as well because it's always fun and I definitely have to go outside because it's still snowing. I remember talking about really wanting to go sledging when I was still in Berlin, but I didn't have a sledge and here I had one. So, yay! <laughs> See you in the next clip. Oh, one thing I'm actually curious about, where are you guys from and does it snow where you live? Maybe not at the moment, but like in general. Because yes, Germany has snow, but not all the time and it's been a while since I've seen snow. So I'm really grateful that this winter gave us so much snow. Hi, it's the middle of the week. I'm currently preparing lunch. I already recorded the Mehrsein als Schein podcast with Lucas about cancer culture. It was a really interesting conversation and I think it's one of my favorite episodes so far. Plus it was kind of fun to just 
talk about random stuff in the beginning because it's currently snowing outside and we both had some stories to tell <laughs> yeah and while i'm waiting for my food i want to listen to some music i haven't listened to music for too long <laughs> and i just want to dance so that's what's going to happen now and in case you're wondering why i'm wearing the same shirt every day at the moment it's because i'm filming for my show reel for university and i need to wear the same thing <laughs> because otherwise you will notice that it wasn't filmed in one day and it's supposed to look like it's filmed during one walk outside so that's why i'm wearing the same thing <laughs> but that's all right i mean you can wear things more than once and this is where the dancing session starts <laughs> I think the food is ready, which also means the dancing session is over. This one is so wet because I only washed my bangs this morning. I beg you on my knees to stay. So you're in the kitchen cupboard right now. My grandma taught me how to do a traditional Austrian Linzer Torte and we did a vegan edition by using this instead of egg. You use one teaspoon, mix it with water and I haven't tried it yet but I'm really really excited and I want to try it in front of the camera to see what it's like. I love family recipes and I really wanted to learn this one from my grandma. Let's try. Slide, slide, slide! <laughs> Whoa. How to slide like a pro! Hi, I'm coming straight from outside. Bought some ingredients for today's dinner. We're very lucky because my grandma made lunch and it's a really good one. She asked me which kind of lunch I wanted because I'm not here all the time. So whenever I'm here, she asks me what I want to eat. Which makes me really happy because I love her food. Yeah, but I don't know where the rest of the family is and whether they already want to eat or not because I'm hungry. <laughs> I want to spend today doing maybe reels and YouTube stuff. I still need to edit the video for Sunday. Lots of fun things to do. I love that because the last days were all about uni stuff and that's a little bit stressful most of the time. So today is all about my projects and what I really want to do and what I enjoy doing. And those are the best days. Hello, it's Friday by now and today we're going to the Sauerland because my grandparents have a house there. Or actually, since this year, it's my mom's house and we're doing some construction work there. And it's also just a really nice area to chill out a little bit and there's also a lot of snow well I'm not there yet but there is snow as well and I just wanted to quickly come on here and say goodbye for this vlog 
the second half of February will be captured in another vlog that will be posted at the end of February. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I really hope to see you next time. And if you're curious about something specific, whether it's about Germany or Berlin or my life or whatever, let me know. And with that being said, thank you very, very much for watching and I hope to see you next Saturday. Bye bye! Thank you.